to see what the brother got. Let's see it. This is William Jones, AKA the Red Phoenix. And over here we paint, we sell, we shoot, we build. We have FFLs and SOTs. So yeah, we're in this gun thing. So I was gonna do another video today, but Mr. Kent out of Florida gave me a call on the phone. Hey, you need to explain something. And what he wanted me to explain was adjustable gas blocks. Because in my last video, I was basically saying how I was taking off my silencer and I needed to adjust my gas block up. So he said, well, can you explain how to do that? And so, absolutely, for you, here we go. Now, a couple things can actually happen with gas blocks, all right? So a gas block basically looks like this. It goes over the hole that's in the barrel. Here's a barrel, and there's the hole that's in there that allows the gas to come out of the barrel up into the gas block and back to the bolt carrier. So that gas comes up, it blows the bolt back, and the spring that sits in the buffer tube slams it back forward to get another round inserted into the chamber. Pretty simple, I'll keep it that way. It's a little bit more advanced, but for the most part, that's what happens. Now, certain things can change when you add certain features to the gun, all right? And I'll explain that in one second. What I do want to explain is the gas block itself. This is a screw down type or a screw type or whatever you may want to call it. Basically, it has a screw in there. So if I can find this with my blind self, boom, okay. It screws back and forth. Counterclockwise will open that hole up which will expose that gas hole. And if you want to close it, if you want to cut the gas off, you go clockwise. Lefty loosey, righty tighty, same principle. It cuts the gas off where there's no gas that blows back through the tube. Right? Open, gas goes up, closed, no gas at all through the tube. Now, the reason that's important and the reason I have that on my firearms is because I use suppressors. I use different size bullets. I use different things to make that gas system change up a little bit. So, for instance, if I put a suppressor on there, which is full of baffles, there is a whole bunch of this that keeps gas trapped up so that gas will actually blow back through the barrel. I can cut my gas block off. So I go clockwise, I screw my screw down to cover up that gas hole because now I have extra blowback pressure from that. So the blowback itself from all that gas being trapped up in the system will blow the bolt carrier back instead of using the gas tube and it runs up there going into that gas key, this top part right, I don't mean to use my middle finger, but right there, it blows that back. But now I don't need it because I have my suppressor on. So all that pressure goes back through the barrel and then it blows my bolt carrier without using the gas system, okay? However, I go back, I take my suppressor off, I don't have that back pressure anymore, okay? So what I have to do is open my gas block up. So I take my almond wrench, usually use my glasses, and I open the gas port or I open the gas block back up to allow the gas to go back through the tube, hit the bolt carrier in its key and blow my bolt carrier back because I don't have the back pressure from my suppressor. Now, same thing kind of happens with bullets. It's a little bit different, but I'll try to explain it. So let's say I have a bullet that's this big trying to go through the barrel. It's a little bit exaggerated, I know, but just kind of go with me. If I'm trying to blow this through the barrel, it's going to be really hard for my gas to push this out. Meaning, I'm going to have more back pressure, more gas inside of this barrel trying to push back against my bolt, right? Now, if I used a bullet that was this big, something that would go through there very easily, very fast, well, it doesn't give me as much back pressure. So once again, I would have to use this and I'd have to adjust this because of bullet size. So, those are two areas in which an adjustable gas block is very useful. Now, I hope, Mr. Kent, that helps out. I hope it helps you out. And I hope you have an adjustable gas block, especially if you're running like 
a 55 grain all the way up to whatever grain. If there's a difference in 20, 30 grains, it does make a difference in how much blowback gas and blowback pressure you have on your bulk carrier group. Right, so I hope that makes sense. I don't think I'm missing anything, but if you have any questions, comments, and I need to explain something else, let me know. Until next time, Sev 2, 2A, we'll holla at you.